Keith Grint, I'm Professor of Public Leadership at Warwick University and I've just been talking about wicked problems in leadership to the conference. Basically been arguing that there are some aspects of health services, generally speaking, not just the Irish Health Service, that are wicked rather than tame. So tame issues in health services are how you undertake an operation, and how you plan for beds, how you do those kinds of things that we do all the time. Professional, 80% of your life is addressing those kinds of tame problems, technical issues that we know how to solve. But the really difficult things are the wicked problems, and the wicked problems are ones that we don't know how to solve. Uh, and the consequence of us not knowing that is that we end up pretending that we know how to solve them. So we quite often take the wrong route to that kind of problem. So for example, what we have in most health services now is an ageing population with increasingly complex medical requirements. Uh, we have an increasing ability to treat all those people and we have a decreasing financial base. So we actually have infinite demand and finite supply, which is a wicked problem. Part of the big problem is that I don't think we have understood and educated people as to their personal responsibilities in health. So we end up treating everybody for whatever they've got and they just assume that we'll treat them. And what we should be doing is saying, you have a responsibility for your health. If that screws up, then we'll look after you, but you have to look after yourself too. I, I think there is something in the leadership role which is about recognising that you don't necessarily need to know all the answers. And therefore that requires, ironically, a really high level of confidence to be able to say to people, I'm not sure, what do you think? Because once you get that kind of thing in your head, First of all, you get people who make things up as they go along. Secondly, we have a really a pathological fear of making mistakes. And in these kinds of wicked problems, you, you have to make mistakes. Otherwise, you're never going to be able to progress. We're all facing the same kinds of problems. So nobody is unique in this. So it's community, it's about education. And I think it's about reflection. It's just we don't we don't take enough time out to think about what, what is going on here because we, we, we either are so busy or we make ourselves so busy so I don't have to look at that really horrible thing which is underneath the pillow which says, oh my God. So we, we, we avoid responsibility of what's coming towards us by being busy.